Hi, you all. It's Kendall. Um, happy holidays. If you celebrate, I hope that you had an amazing Christmas celebration. And I think that we are in day three, if I'm not mistaken, of Kwanzaa. So happy Kwanzaa to those who celebrate. Um, and the new year is quickly approaching. And so in the spirit of ushering in the new and reflecting on the old, I just wanted to take, you know, a brief minute. You know what brief means for me. <laughs> To kind of just, you know, check in with you, see how you're doing, um, and to just offer you some things, you know, to possibly reflect on um, now that we're at the end of 2020, 2021, my, the years have really just begun to blend together um, with this panorama that we're in. Um, and I just wanted you to think about a few things, right? So at the end of the year, I know people like to do these whole resolutions things, and I've I've decided a few years ago that I'm not, I'm no longer going to do the whole, you know, what's my resolution for the new year, but I'm going to seek out to be more intentional. So I began to identify what are my intentions for the new year. And with intentions, um, you got to have a plan, right? We can't engage in magical thinking, you know, thinking that just because we intend to do something, it'll come to, you know, come to pass. There has to be a plan of action put in place, identifying resources and things. So I, I want you to spend just some time, you know, journaling on what are your intentions for 2022? And what's the plan that you are going to actively work toward putting in place for those intentions to be manifest? If you do need assistance with that, you know, that's that's my my realm of expertise, just reach out and I can support you with that. But I also want you to identify when it comes to intentions, what are your best hopes for 2022? Um, when you think about, these are the things that I want to be able to accomplish, you know, in 2022, these are my best hopes, my preferred future for 2022. What would those be? And identify that, write it down, make a list, journal about it, process it, make a vision board, just find a way to engage in some reflection, right? And that can lead to planning as well. Um, when we think about 2022, sometimes it's easiest to think about, I don't want this or I don't want that. And I'm learning that instead of looking at it from the perspective of the absence of something, no more COVID, <laughs> right? I think we all want that. How about looking, shifting your perspective to see it I want 2022 to have the presence of something. What do I want to be present for myself, for my life, professionally, family, interpersonally in 2022? Is that, you know, I want the presence of better health, obviously better mental health, you know, stronger, more genuine relationships, um, a happier work environment, um, a job that I love, um, increased income, the presence of some peace, peace of mind, right? You know, health for family, friends, loved ones. So I want you to begin to shift your thinking from not necessarily the absence of, I don't want this, but the presence of, I want these things, right? And so I have this freebie that I'm giving away where I want you all to kind of process, what are you choosing to let go of in 2021? What are those things that I was having this conversation with my mother the other day, you know, when you begin to invite new things into your life, you got to release, become untethered to the things that are no longer useful, right? Um, otherwise, we just have clutter, right? And so in an, in an effort to make space for those things that you seek, what are you choosing to relinquish control over? What are you choosing to become untethered from? What are you choosing to let go of and leave in 2021? And in addition, what are you choosing to invite into your life in 2022? So um, I want you to make a list of that. Do a little T-chart. I'm letting go of this in 2021. You know, I'm inviting into my life these things in 2022. Um, attached to this video, I will include a freebie for you uh, to be able to help you process these things. And you get the also the opportunity to identify, write down, reflect on these are my intentions for 2022. It can be whatever you want. 
you know, it's your life. It's what you see. You just got to do it. And just as a way to reflect, I want you to write a letter to yourself, your future self, about your hopes, you know, your dreams, all of the things that you want to see happen and manifest in your life in 2022. So honestly, this could be like a culminating activity after you've done this type of reflection. Um, write a letter to yourself, put it away somewhere. And at the, you know, a certain point of the year, maybe midpoint, June, you take a look at it and you begin to, you know, just look and see how am I doing with identifying the things that I want and working toward that. So I think these are some good ways to reflect on the year that is 2021 that's almost over and the year, how to begin, you know, the year um, in an intentional manner. So I always do this thing. I identify what's a word that I'm going to allow to guide my year. And for me, the word for me for 2022 is definitely going to be intention. Um, what does it look like to be intentional in in every aspect of my life as I move forward? Relationships, you know, business wise, you know, professionally, when it comes to working with other people, friendships, family ships, you know, finances, mental health, everything. How can I move with intention to realize my preferred future? So I'm going to leave y'all with that. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you've enjoyed the holiday season. Take your rest because remember, you don't have to earn it. Connect with those you love. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Um, and I look forward to seeing and speaking to you soon. And yeah, just be guided by intention. I will talk to you soon. Happy New Year.